There are many wonderful videos on YouTube showing you how to convert a sorted array to a binary search tree. However, I've yet to see one in JavaScript. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to convert a sorted array to a binary search tree in JavaScript. Obviously, you need to know what a binary search tree is or a binary tree in general. Uh, understand that data structure first and then come back to this video. You will also need uh, a basic knowledge of JavaScript. You need to know how a JavaScript array works and how to sort an array. Okay. Uh, so I'm using this exercise here provided by Lead Code. The reason is because they have this nice diagram of uh, the hierarchical nature of the binary tree data structure. And uh, they tell you exactly what you need to do here. And they also provide you with this tree node um, constructor function here. Now, this is an assumption that, uh, that you have this. You're given this function for you to use in your code. If you don't want to listen to me talk, here is my code. As you can see here, it's working. If you want to code along with me, line by line, let's roll. So in the interest of saving a little bit of time, I went ahead and created the basic outline of the uh, algorithm. The point here is to hopefully teach you something and not for you guys to watch me type out every character. So here is our given uh, tree node constructor function which we will use inside of our algorithm. So we start out with a uh, function expression. It will take a uh, numbers array as its input. I'm using my own version of Hungarian notation here, just to be very explicit. The red squiggly line that you see here, that's a JS bin thing is complaining about white spaces. So you can ignore that. And so first thing I'm going to do is some really basic error checking. So if the function is invoked without an input array, or if the array length is less than one, then we return null. In the real world, you would return whatever makes sense to you. For this exercise, we're going to use recursion. And we are going to create a recursive utility function here. Now, every anytime that you work with recursion, you need to be aware of the call stack size, okay? And so you don't exceed the, the stack where you can have a stack overflow, which will lead to some really nasty memory problem, okay? So this recursive function will take the input, the numbers array as input as one of its parameter the start of the array and then the end. Now, anytime you work with a recursion, you need to have a base case, right? We're trying our best to avoid the stack overflow here. So, so if the start is greater than the end, hopefully you guys have seen my binary search video. You can return null. Again, in the real world, you, you need to um, return what makes sense to you. Now for the recursive case. 
In the recursive case, you need to f first find the middle, find the middle of the array. Okay, so for that, we can just, just basic uh, JavaScript programming. We obviously do not want any remainders. So we, we're flooring the the product. Okay. So now that we have our middle, we're going to instantiate this constructor up here. We're going to new that up. And we're going to call it with our array here. But we want the middle of that array. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, a tree is a hierarch hierarchical data structure, right? Not a linear one. So we need to have a left branch and a right branch, just like it, just like in a real tree. So therefore, we need to create the left branch. And so to do that, remember we have this tree here that we knew up. Okay, so we're going to call that root dot left. And now we're going to use we're going to uh, use our uh, recur recursive function here. And we are going to call it with the input array, the start, and the middle minus one, which is uh, the middle of the left side, okay, just the left side. Now that we have the left, we're going to do the right. Save a little bit of time, we just copy that out here. We're going to invoke that recursive function again. And we're going to need for the signature, we need the array. Now, talk about the right side, right? So we have to start at the middle and then move to the right. So we add one. Okay. And then we pass it in the end. And we're matching this match, matching the signature up here. Since we're invoking the recursive function. Okay, so now we have the middle, the root, the left, the right. We're going to go ahead and return the root. Okay. So um, that's pretty much it for our recursive function. Now we just need to return it. We're going to return this recursive function. With the input array. As a data structure, the beginning of the array, which is zero, obviously zero the index. And then the far right side of the vector. Which would be the array dot length minus one, right? So basic JavaScripting there, and that's pretty much it, guys. That wasn't so bad, was it? Um, and then of course uh, this array here with the elements in it is provided by the lead code exercise, okay? I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now this is a little bit hard to read, so let me open up, open up the console, the developer console, which would make a little bit more sense. Let me run that one more time here. There. So you got the left side and the right side. So this is a depth first approach, right? 
again, you're not familiar with how uh, binary trees work, uh, but read up on that, study up on that. So depth first approach, okay? Let's clear this up by running the code in lead code. Let me uh, zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just to be in a safe side, I'm going to zoom in one more level. Okay, so I'm going to run the code. Okay, this is the expectation and this is the output. It matches up. Again, this is a depth first approach. Okay, now let's see how we do on our time complexity and space complexity. There it is. Not too shabby. Good luck.